Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Take one step down, all the way to the left. So, this party is not going to be standing on their switch at the end of this segment, that's for sure. Instead, I want to clean up a whole bunch of things on this party's route right now before I uh, actually tackle their route to stand on the to get back to their point in the three switch room at the end. Although I will have them open the door there right now. So run down to the bottom. Run all the way to the right. One step left, and all the way down. Figured I'd probably get a battle there. This is probably in the, the outdoor trash room. Um, that means it's one of those guys, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And Toadie Rage. Now I can continue having Setzer use his wonderful Hold A strat. This thing should get mauled pretty quickly by, uh... Um, the brute force of Umaro's single target attacks. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. So, uh... Unfortunately, he's decided to use his multi-target attack this time around. Not so useful in here. Because this is the room that only has single target enemies that come one at a time and are relatively powerful. Whatever, I've got Lego Morph to back me up and make sure that I don't die to anything, so... Oh, I guess it's still better than Umaro whacking them physically, that's just garbage. These guys all have like 24,000 or 30,000 HP. Uh, so yeah, that's quite a bit to deplete. And that's like half the, the bosses have in vanilla. <laughs> Just to give a comparison as to how weak the uh, vanilla enemies are, even the bosses are. Why and why wasn't I aligned on items at the start? Okay, that was probably items. Yeah, I must have done some fiddling around the menu at the start or something, I don't know. Figured there wasn't anything there, but with single target attacks like Gigavolt and Avalanche being thrown around, you don't want to take the chance. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Nice to have lock at the bottom. Yikes, that was a lot of cure right away. Not a good start, I guess, but I'll just have to roll with it. Better than someone being dead and me also having to use a Phoenix down, I guess. So I've presumably reached the bottom by now, even though that's quite a bit of walking there. One, two, three. There's my chest containing something. Probably a consumable, because I totally forget what it is. So now I go left and down. For a while, anyway. The, uh... I go a little bit past my destination here. I'm not 100% sure this is the best way for me to do this. Um, I don't need to worry about you. So here I'm going to be finding Gao's Imp spell. There we go. I finally, for the first time in enacting the strategy that I expected to be using more than this. And if there's a Diabolus in the fight, it's, uh, it's even useful. Hooray! I hear a bunch of standard punches, so probably good to use Mantodia now. If it is a double Diablos battle, well, they decided not to do a whole lot of meaningful stuff, so I'll live with that. Okay, so there is an evil Oscar in this fight. Is evil Oscar Vector Diablos the only threesome containing an evil Oscar? Well, the only 
Oh no, wait, no, it's not the only battle containing an evil Oscar, because there's Brontar evil Oscar. That's right. Well, I definitely need to chuck remedies on people. And Revivify is just on the off chance that I missed it on life, which is possible. Yep, that wasn't unexpected. Figured as much, but don't want to play around with the zombie status. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Two cure spells. No biggie. No big deal at all. So I just go to the bottom left here, and then I can ironically completely retrace my steps with a right and up, because that will navigate me to the door. There it is. Okay, run straight up, and I should hit the green dragon if I don't hit another battle first. Nope, apparently I'm straight into the green dragon fight. And this is a fight where I'm pretty much planning on all my characters dying! Hooray! So, yeah, just want to make sure that I... There's Setzer's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Poison? What? One, two, three, four, five. I swear that's what poison was supposed to be. Let's hope it was just one down and I was one off. Good for you, Maro. Good, poison connected right away. In my test run, I swear, it took me so long to get poison to connect. One, two, three. Left one, a rog. And now Gao can solo the fight on his own. Good for him. Congratulations, the rest of the party. You've officially become superfluous. Yay! I might as well use them to speed it up, though. Keep them alive for as long as possible with Setzer. Can't use uh, Region X, that's for sure, because Region X will kill off Gao, and I don't want to kill Gao. Gao's my friend. Let's travel together. And... So, I'll just have Setzer spam his slots. And if I'm really lucky, Setzer tomorrow and Locke may even live. They haven't... he hasn't poisoned me yet, which is good. Multi-target poison spell will pretty much be the thing to start down the uh, clock here, and I guess that's just what happened, although Locke clearly blocked it. Blizzard, not so helpful. Blizzard's not here for this fight, <laughs> that's for sure. Blizzard's more than any... Blizzard's pretty useful in the palace, against the palace enemies. But, more than anything, it's useful against the outdoor, like, the complete outdoor enemies, because those guys are the ones that are pretty much all weak to ice, so <laughs> Blizzard there is just like, Bleh, everything's dead. <laughs> I could have Gao use the Nastodon Rage, I guess. I did happen to get it, surprisingly enough, on, on the Velt during the, like, one cycle I went through after I had, uh, had all, gotten all the rages to appear on there, but I don't know, it just feels easier to spam Mantodi instead, so not really doing anything, so let's just eat this chocolate here probably not a good thing to do on camera, I guess, but Sumaro's still alive, I wonder? It's hard to tell, because people are on statuses and all that. Another holy spell. I guess the worst thing that could happen to Gao is a death claw in the front row. Hopefully that won't be too big a deal, I guess. By the way, Nakara, I totally stole your strat. I think it was Nakara anyway. Who... 
came up with the Gower Rog pre-poison strat. Though it sounds like the sort of thing I'd do anyway, but... I saw him do that and I was like, yeah, I'm so totally putting Gao on this team just to, just to wreck this guy. Because a fight halfway through a segment might as well make it myself pretty much invincible during that fight. Yeah, it's definitely lasting a lot longer than he did in my test run, that's for sure. And Imaro's still alive too, so... But Gao's there so that I don't even have to think, I can pretty much just sit back and hold the A button. <laughs> I don't usually like having to do boss fights halfway through a segment. I really hate it when that happens, especially in this run. Because I can't like switch around equipment before the boss or anything like that. Well, at least not without some pain. Which is part of the reason why I hated the Fanchix Tower so much. The boss is halfway through and if you die, well, you gotta go back through all the really slow random encounters again. Which is kind of awful. In this run in particular, but... This battle's not too bad at all, and what was I gonna say? The poison builds in this fight, so it would be un it would be fairly surprising if people didn't die eventually. But thankfully, there's only one Kefka's Tower boss that's actually not this one, and therefore challenging. That I have to fight halfway through, and that's Miria. It's pretty much gotta be Miria because this seems the only one I can get from a save point to Miria without having to switch between parties. Well, I guess I could technically do it with Team 2, but they'd have a much larger loop before this to get back to Atmo Atma's save point. Are you dead? Can you just be dead by now? It's getting tedious. Oh no, Dispel! You got me now! I, I cringe in fear of your Skull Dragon greeniness. Oh, is everyone besides Gao finally dead? Well, I guess I can stop holding A. Now I can put even less effort into this fight than I was doing two seconds ago. That's impressive. Oh wait, somebody was uh, on sleep. Which means things are still happening. Although I'd be surprised if uh, they weren't just dying of poison during that time, so... I would be unsurprised if they don't even get another turn. Well, never mind, they got another turn. Okay, it sounds like there's only two characters alive now. Gao, who just got hit, and Setzer, who just blocked it. Setzer's not going to be doing that much, I guess. Most I'll get off is a blackjack every once in a while, but... Setzer was mostly there to keep the other two alive. Not himself. You know, I bet I could drop Cure 3s on him now that I think about it. Can't be lasting too long, I guess. Is that Setzer, I wonder? If it was, then I'm down to just go now. Gav's Zombite does like nothing, but even with the Bone Club, he's still in the back row, and it's. I think, yeah, it doesn't do two times damage because enemy specials don't uh, do multiple damage and a special uh, proc at the same time, so. It's really just a standard attack from Gao, considering the dragon's not 
obviously going to be weak to zombie. Because that would violate like eight different rules of Brave New World. <laughs> and at least a hundred common sense rules for designing a video game that the Final Fantasy VI vanilla designers broke time and time again, but whatever. <laughs> They may not have had a lot of bosses weak to... They may not have had any bosses weak to zombie, but... There were sure a lot of bosses weak to, uh... Instant death. <laughs> not to mention other instantly debilitating statuses. And seriously, how many of the dragons could be instantly cheesed through one matter? One manner or another. Even beyond status effects, I guess. Unfortunately, there's no real good way to put him on seizure or anything, so... Particularly since he'd just remove it after a few turns anyway, so it wouldn't build up to much. Is this it? Is this the last holy? Nope. It felt... Uh, this is another case of... It felt a lot shorter during my test run when I was spamming fast forward all over the place. At least Gao uses Holy, like, most of the time, so... Still not dead yet. It's the boss fight that just keeps on giving. There we go. Good work, Gao. You have destroyed the world. And now I have a second crystal orb that I will proceed to not use right away. Oh hey, exploded goodbye. So now I have the Crusader Esper. Phoenix down, the three people that are dead. Remedy Gao, because he's obviously poisoned. Useful in that fight, not so useful from here on out. A catch, leave me alone. Where was I in the menu now? Skills, lock, magic, gear, no. I was still in items, I guess. Skills, lock... Ugh. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So, now I should be lined on lock. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Cat distraction. So annoying. In this case, at least. One, two, three. All the way to the right. Still on an adventure to get to this switch here. The dragon was kind of like a stepping stone, but ironically probably less dangerous than some of the palace random encounters, so... But I'm gonna almost certainly run into one, so... Can't expect to get out of that, because I gotta come back through here. Left and up until I reach... That's not too far, I guess. All the way down. Okay, so I'm in safety land right now. One, two, all the way up to the top. 
Now I can open this door up, but now I gotta leave to go back to the save point. But it'll ensure that later on, Party 1 could just run he through here and then step in front of Kaiser. The I definitely want to save just before the Kaiser fight, so... That's part of the reason why I'm doing it this way. Right one, all the way back down. <coughs> but it also means that I can just have a straight run to Miria once I'm done that bit, so that's nice too. Miria, the Miria segment's probably going to be the biggest pain in the butt left in this in this challenge run, I think, because it's going to be pretty long and have a boss fight right at the end. That's not going to be a super easy boss fight either, I don't think. Probably not a super hard one, but not super easy. That's bad enough. All the way up to the top. Now I go right and down, which is really safe because I can air in both directions, really. Yeah, only to be expected. Let's get it over with. Wait, you're still in slots. And let's put you back on Mantodia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So Maru just uber killed something almost. <laughs> Guess that wasn't too helpful. Ready for shrapnel. Th four enemies, which I think pins us into a double madame, double veteran battle. Locke should rip this apart, probably. And Umaro rips everything apart, so I don't even have to pay attention to him. Oh, that's not good. I was probably condemned, but... May have also been roulette. Blackjack might actually be helpful here. I don't think Setzer's healing is going to amount to much right now. Ooh, nice job! Totally asked for it, and you gave it to me. Whatever Umaro hit is dead now, so... That might have been condemned triggering, because I wasn't sitting in my menu very much there. I think Umaro just attacked, which isn't super good. Oh no, I don't like all these noises. I don't hear Locke anymore. Oh wait, I hear Locke now. But it didn't kill anything. I would have really liked to kill the veteran off. It's getting scary with all these instant death attacks. I don't like it. Especially if it's just lock left. Because I don't hear him Maru either now. This could be really bad. Oh, never mind. There's Umaro. That makes me feel a little better, bit better. And something else is dead. Something else just took massive damage, so... Yeah, probably good now. Mute's not gonna help you much with this team. I'll tell you that right now. Still not dead. Oh, never mind. That's just a rest counterattack. Probably dead. Okay, that was slightly worrisome. It's a lot easier to say during a test run, eh, I don't have to worry, because in most cases it should work out, even if it feels bad, but... During the actual run, when I'm already like half an hour in... Skills, luck, magic, cure. Okay, that took a lot of healing, but that was only to be expected. So let's see if I can uh, slip down here with no other battles and get back to relative safety in the other areas. The single enemies, they're probably the least dangerous out of all these areas, except maybe the factory area. Because the one enemy has tr always has trouble keeping up, even if they can take a lot of hits, so... Alright, so I appear to have made it there, but I've still got a few steps to go. One... 
two, three, four, five. Okay. Dash to the exit, and I made it. This should be the uh, inside junk area. Which is mostly pretty easy. Even the uh, Prometheus guys, luck actually hits them for quite a bit, so... Even though their attacks are probably the most dangerous out of all the enemies around here. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Well, I guess they can inflict seizure on me. But, they're not gonna finish off my team with single target attacks that don't one hit KO, so... Oh, is this a side attack? Is this the only way I can see that happening? An avalanche that sounds like it's hitting the left. Gouge and a physical attack from Locke. This is not the time to use Blizzard tomorrow. That would be outside. It's dead anyway, so I don't care. I think this team gets the most battles and therefore probably the most uh, EXP going through here. No Phoenix Downs, that's good. That wouldn't even have made sense, but okay. And... Skills, Lock, Magic, Cure. I think I've used less magic than in my test run, so I think Locke shouldn't run out. He was very close to running out in my test run, though. So, I think I got more palace battles in my test run and ha felt the Wrath of the Instant Death quite a bit there, so... Careful. Don't go too fast. It's not a lot of steps, but... There we go. Probably going up next. It's probably the safer direction to go in. Oh, whoops. Oh well, whatever. They're Vectic Oils, so I didn't need to use Imp anyway. These guys are one of the fights that definitely gets easier as I go along because of the extra levels and all that. Because I pretty much need all my stats to deal with them. I could have Setzer use Region X, I guess, though, so, just to make it a little bit safer. I didn't use any magic points so far with him, so... Okay, for some reason he was at the bottom of his magic menus, or at least halfway down, so I'm glad I checked. Cure 2, Life, Region, Region X. And now let's make this battle even safer than it just was. Gao, Gao had a, has a life bell normally, but he doesn't have it right now thanks to the green dragon fight, so... This region X helps everyone out. Well, except Locke, I guess. Hero shield for the win. This is the only fight that Blizzard can hit more than one enemy and still seem kind of... not amazing. Pretty much. Everyone should still be pretty okay right about now, so... Tomorrow and Locke are physical tanks. Gao's got safe, and Setzer sets her, so... And their magic isn't too ridiculous or crazy or anything, so... Not too worried. Oh, no one needed a Phoenix Down? What a surprise. Skills, Lock, Magic, Cure. There's other teams that like the Vectic Whales a lot less than this team does, though. Okay, there's my Rainbow Brush. Head for the door. There it is. Oh, good. The battle came just after I opened the door. That's actually pretty handy, I think. What was that? 
Whatever, you just use slots. You use your imp. Not sure if that'll be helpful at all, but... What was that? It sounded like glare almost, but I don't know what would be using that. Regardless, something's dead. Single target shrapnel didn't kill. Still have no clue what this fight is. Is that the end? Oh wait, that was probably on life. Okay. Phoenix Downs, I'm probably still good. There we go. Called it. Skills, luck, magic, cure. Okay, well that's the end of the, that area. That's the end of that area for this time. The team has to go through all th four different types of areas in this run, in this uh, run, and <laughs> kind of got to do it like factory, inside junkyard, outside uh, palace, and then it's kind of got to do them in reverse. One. Two, one, two. Ugh. This feels kind of weird. Okay, so it's not a searcher. I can think. I can count my blessings for that one, I guess. Okay, it must be a uh, IO guy, or not IO uh, war mech. I just want to get this guy out of the way so I can step on the save point. Where I hopefully am, because I'm worried that I messed up some navigation in the last couple seconds there, because... Felt like I got a battle going upwards when that shouldn't be the case. Team's got tanks and a lot of damage, so skills, luck, magic, cure. I mean, all the teams have a decent amount of damage, I guess. Okay, I was one step from the save point. I guess I just misread it. Okay, half an hour. I got. I estimated the length of that, probably about right. See you next time.